Hi, I'm here today in this brief video to show you just exactly how these exercises listed down below in the pictures work. Uh, I've had a number of people ask me to demonstrate these because they can be just a little bit confusing by looking at the pictures. They're described briefly, uh, but I'm just going to do them here uh, just to show you uh, how they actually work in motion. Keep in mind that when you're talking about scoliosis, scoliosis is not a condition that is healed by exercise. In adolescence, uh, it is generally, it's generally diagnosed in adolescence, in, in older children or in younger teenagers. My own daughter uh, was diagnosed with scoliosis as a young teenager. She's now 20 years old. She's a martial artist. She jogs. She lifts weights. She's very active. And so it was not severe, and, but it does have a slight effect on her body and on one of her hips. So it is important that exercise is undertaken and it's agreed uh, among medical professionals that exercise and fitness is an important part of dealing with scoliosis not only as an adolescent but throughout your lifetime. So these exercises down below are essentially for people who are out of their adolescent years. In other words, the condition is no longer developing but it's there to some degree and these are uh, to help you offset the effects of what scoliosis may have had on you. It may be on your back, it may be on some uh, area of mobility, it may be on your hip, it may be on your neck. But these are to give you some uh, help in, in offsetting some of the effects. So I'm going to demonstrate these here so you're not just looking at pictures but you see them actually in motion. This first move is one of the most commonly prescribed uh, scoliosis exercises. And what it's designed to do is add mobility to the spine that is, has a pronounced curve in the center. Um, the, the instructions to do it to both sides are important in that we don't want to create some kind of imbalance. These exercises you can do, um, any of them you can do several times a day. And what you don't want to do is have a pronounced difference in the amount of mobility to one side or the other because you're only doing the exercise to one side. So it is suggested that you do this exercise and do it uh, to both sides, do sets and repetitions to both sides equally rather than just to one side. This will elongate your spine, decompress it to some degree, and add mobility to a spine that has been affected uh, around the center portion, which is most common. Uh, with scoliosis. This move is to offset the effects of the unnatural rotation of the spine in one direction. Um, it, it's emphasized in this movement to keep your arm in this position right here in front of you. Uh, if you want to know if you want to know why you keep your arm in that position just do it that way a few times and then do it with your arm either hanging down or up above your head or in some other position and you'll see the pronounced difference in how where the pull comes into your spine with the positioning of your arm. It's very very important that you keep your arm in that position because that gives you the maximum effect of the movement. Finally here you're using the hand positions or your arm positions from the first two exercises simultaneously. It's not the same move but the same arm position. Then you're bending backwards and bending forwards with your arms in those positions. That gives you again maximum effect from the unnatural position of the spine and offsetting the effects of that with your arms in those positions. Again, if you want to try it with your arms in different positions, that's fine. You'll see the pronounced difference in how it affects and how the arm position affects the pull on your spine, the directional pull on your spine. So uh, it is important that you keep your arms in these positions and doing all three of these exercises will help you keep your spine mobile and offset many of the effects of mild scoliosis on your spinal cord and on the surrounding muscles and joints. Finally, just a note here, if you notice, um, I do these exercises in the video and in a lot of the other uh, videos around the site, I'll do them in regular street clothes and that's just basically to just illustrate a point and that is not to overcomplicate any of these exercises. These are exercises, movements that you can do throughout your day and you can stop and do them at any point during the day. You can do them once a day or you can do them several times a day according to the effect that you need on your own body. So don't overcomplicate it. You can do it in your street clothes. You can do it when it's convenient. But the main thing is to be sure and do it and do it consistently and make it a part of your lifestyle and it will help you 
offset many of the effects of mild scoliosis.